So, you want to win a Tony Award. Welcome to the theater! Step one, be a theater artist. Not just any artist either. Uh, you can't win an award in a category that doesn't exist. Uh, I must express my gratitude. The categories have waxed and waned since the first awards in 1947, but as of 2016, there are about 24 regular award categories, including Best Play, Best Musical, Best Book of a Musical, Best Score, that's music and or lyrics, Best Revival of a Player Musical, listed as one award but usually split into two, the eight permutations of Best Performance by an Actor or Actress in a Leading or Featured Role in a Play or Musical, Best Choreography, Best Orchestration, and then one each for Best Direction of a Play and Musical, Best Scenic Design of a Play and Musical, Best Costume Design of a Play and Musical, and Best Lighting Design of a Play and Musical. Sorry, Sound Design. Your award has been relegated to the Retired Awards pile, along with Best Performance by a Newcomer and Best Special Theatrical Event. Really, that means the Tony Committee decided that y'all weren't artists, because that totally makes sense. So you've gotten your degree from the conservatory or college of your choice, collected your points to get your union card, thrown your playbill collection into a U-Haul, and moved to the Big Apple with a stack of 8x10 glossies, your tap shoes, and a dream. Step 2. Be eligible. Not every theater artist in New York is eligible for a Tony, and eligibility can actually get a little complicated. Each year, the Tony Awards publishes a 40-plus page rules and regulations document laying out eligibility guidelines. This document is maintained and evaluated by the Tony Administration Committee, a group of 24 almighty theater people, 10 from the American Theater Wing, 10 from the Broadway League, and one each from the four big unions. The Dramatists Guild, Actors Equity, United Scenic Artists, and the Society of Stage Directors and Choreographers. This group decides all eligibility for Tony Awards using that 44-page rules and regulations. It's a dense document, but there are seven basic guidelines a production must meet to be eligible for nomination. Number one, be a quote-unquote legitimate theatrical production based on the judgment of the Tony Administration Committee. Number two, officially open in a number three eligible Broadway theater, generally one of the 500-plus seat theaters in the official theater district in Midtown Manhattan, specifically one of the 40 theaters listed on page 21. Number four, open on or before the eligibility dates determined every Every year by the Tony Administration Committee, and number five, perform with a reasonably conventional performance schedule. Number six, provide free tickets to Tony voters, and number seven, agree to follow the rules in this document by signing and submitting the forms on page 24 and 25. Now, most traditional Broadway productions meet these requirements simply by existing, but there are two big clarifications that can muddle things up a little bit. The rules distinguish what makes a show eligible for best player musical versus best revival of a player musical. A production is considered a revival if it is played in an eligible Broadway theater since the first Tony Awards in 1947, or a theater that would have been eligible before the Tonys existed, or if the show is considered a classic, a somewhat controversial distinction. The rules also have a section called substantial duplication. Basically, if an element of a production is mostly a copy of a previously eligible production, then the show can only be freshly nominated if the admin com determines the entire production is a new play or musical. It's kinda like Double Jeopardy, but for the Tony Awards instead. In addition to the seven eligibility criteria for productions, there are also individual criteria for people. I mean, somebody's gotta hold that Tony Award up in the air. Eligible producers must be listed above the title on opening night programs, actors and actresses must perform their role on opening night and also on the nights Tony voters are invited, performers can also not be nominated for playing a role that they previously won a Tony Award for, we are looking at you, Carol Channing, and generally all other nominees must be listed in the opening night program. So make sure they've spelled your name right. After the Tony Awards Administration Committee determines eligibility and lets the world know that all three Billy Elliots will be eligible, but the four Matildas will not, the eligibility list gets forwarded on to the Tony Awards Nominating Committee. Which brings us to step three, be nominated. Who picks the nominees for the Tony Awards? I'll tell you who picks the nominees for the Tony Awards with the approval of the Executive Committee. The President of the League of New York Theaters appoints a panel of critics who care what's happening on the boards. That's who picks the nominees for the Tony Awards. The admin com appoints the 50-person nomcom to vote on nominations. Nomcom members serve for three years, are professionals in the field, must see every eligible production, cannot be a member of the press, and can't be on the admin com. They also can't have a vested interest in any of the current shows. Obviously. After the season ends, the nomination committee meets, discusses the eligible candidates, and then secretly votes for nominations. Depending upon eligibility numbers, there will usually be four or five nominees in each category. There can be less than four, and if eligibility numbers go down to one, that production can still be nominated. But as far as I can tell, that's never happened. The nomcom votes, the accounting firm tallies, and handles any ties or close votes, and that brings us to... Step 4. Win. 
About 846 people are eligible to vote on the awards themselves. It's basically the committee members from all of the big theatrical unions, some members of the Broadway League and the American Theatre Wing, and the nomination committee itself. But this ain't no primary race, it's actually against the rules to campaign for Tony votes, and you'll lose the nomination if you do. These rules go so far as to say that no materials given to Tony voters can disparage other productions. So. You may want to think again on your I laughed, I cried, it was better than cats slogan. Ballots are delivered by mail, the accounting firm tallies them, and nobody knows who wins until that envelope gets opened live on air. And the winner is... 